Good morning, y'all. I just wanted to do a quick video this morning about the corn. A lot of you have asked so many questions about my corn, and this is my first time growing corn. And after reading about it, I found out that I did this wrong. Whenever you grow corn, it should be in block rows. The more the better, the help, that'll help with the pollination. So let me explain. Right here is my first corn, my first ear of corn. And you see all those little tassels, right? Little hairs. My phone. Those are called the silks, okay? So what has to happen? Each single one of those silks is a piece of corn, is a kernel of corn. Every single silk. Now up here are the male flowers. Those are the ones that are gonna pollinate the females. The little female silks down here. So each one of these will be growing one or two ears of corn. And so my job is to try to get them all pollinated. It's going to be tough. Right now, I'm just shaking a little. If you shake it a little bit, you'll see it all rain down. A whole bunch of it rains down. Um, some people cut them off. I'm going to wait until every single one of them has silks. And that's when I'll start cutting them off. I'll start the first week over here. I'll cut one of the males off, off, sorry, and then I'll rub it along the silks, along every single silk. You've rubbed that male along all the hairs there. And then the next day, I'll start on this end and I'll cut off a male, and then I'll go this way to ensure pollination. So for a whole week, I'll do that. Every single day, I'll change up my rotation of taking off a male flower and rubbing it along the female silks here. I'm so excited, you guys. I woke up this morning, and I saw my picture yesterday. There was no silks coming out. Look at her. She's so cute. What shall we name her? Sexy Susan? I like it. I like it. Sexy Susan. So, Sexy Susan's boyfriend's way up here. Waiting for her to come of age so he can ripen her little flower. Well, there you go. Little dirty talk in the garden today. Enjoy your corn. I have no more sunflowers, guys. I have some new tomatoes, though. I have a little tomato. They're popping up everywhere. They're growing so tall. Look what I'm having to do. I had to bend him because he was pushing out the top. <laughs> but everything else has been great. I have all new sets of sunflowers. Hold on, I forgot to show you. All new sunflowers. My radishes are doing good. I have them hidden under my corn. So I have tons of radishes, probably around 27. Or 28. I have them under flowers and corn over here. They won't get sun for probably another 30 minutes. And then when the sun goes over here, they're protected, so it's a good spot. And yeah, I have sunflowers. I have this is my sugar pumpkin. And this is the what is this? Cantaloupe. This is watermelon. This is my butternut squash, and that's cucumber, and that's a sunflower. I had to take some leaves off because I already had some leaf miners starting immediately. Immediately, leaf miners were on my stuff, so I sprayed a little bit of Captain Jack's, and we're back to going. My little butternut squash is really light. But like I said before, this is uh, what the mechanism for them 
This is the defense to stay alive in this type of heat. Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Talk to you guys later.